let's go over some of the coolest alternative men's bands that I think people don't really know about when they're shopping for their wedding band because a lot of guys just go for that very simple kind of plain band but you don't really need to so I'm going to show you today all these different options that I thought are really cool so you can just go through all the chapters they're going to be linked down below if you want to just like zoom past all of the different styles and see if you like any of them all right before we start the one thing that I would say is that anytime you're making a men's wedding band you can actually choose the width that you want so you can make it as thin as you want you can make it as thick as you want if you look at this reference image here I would just kind of have a look at it and decide for yourself what width you want and then when you reach out say I'm looking for this band in five millimeters and it can just be custom made for you and generally the prices will really revolve around you know the thicker it is the more expensive it is and vice versa hi guys my name is Dominic Flex I'm a custom jewelry designer if ever you guys are looking for a custom made band just send me a DM all right let's jump into it my first choice that I absolutely love is textured wedding bands we have been seeing a increase in requests for hammered I think hammered looks really good and for whatever reason you guys are so concerned about like you know scratching or damaging your rings like I don't know what you guys are all doing like if you guys are all like hammering out back in the woods or something but it gets asked so often and yes this is a good option hammered texture is good for anybody who is doing manual labor because if it gets scratched you're just not going to see it because it's already textured so I would say though that there are two different styles of hammered you have the hammered that is just kind of like free form the entire thing or which I kind of prefer is the beveled angle. So having a beveled edge, that's what it's called, that like angle on the side kind of encases it and makes it feel, I don't know, a little bit more refined, which is why I prefer. And, you know, you can just see which option you like better, but they both look good. The second option, which I've made quite often, is just a simple band with a bright cut pave diamond row on it. I think this looks really classy and you know a lot of guys I think tend to not necessarily have stones they think it's maybe a little bit more of like a feminine aesthetic but I don't think that it is having a row of diamonds or even black diamonds can look really sleek and it adds a little like je ne sais quoi a little bit more not glamorous but a little bit more of refined aesthetic to the ring I've also seen a lot of couples actually pair it the women have like the black diamond on the side and he had the matching black diamond row on his wedding band and it looks really nice it makes like a really nice set so if that's something that you like definitely go for it because it's quite popular we have crushed stone inlays these are really cool rings because you can basically put any color of stone that you want usually when I make them I make them with what we call Gilson opal it's a synthetic type of opal that can basically come in any color it can come in greens purples orange you know any color that you want you can basically inlay it and then we fill it with a type of resin that's hardened by uv ray and so it's very very durable this is the type of band that i would probably recommend staying around the six millimeter width and higher just because you want to have enough room to put the opal in the middle because if it's too thin it's just going to look like a thin little strand and it's not going to look good so for this style i would say go for a six millimeter and up next we have cigar bands so I have been asked from men to do cigar bands for their wedding band it's definitely more popular for women because I feel like you know even having a seven millimeter wide band is very contrast on a woman's hand if you're doing it for men I would definitely recommend never going under eight millimeters thick why because it's not going to give that imposing look like it will on a woman's hand that are much smaller so I would definitely go eight ten millimeters if you really want that cigar look to it it. think Shit's Creek like when David has all of his rings that's what really a cigar band is supposed to look like very very wide in comparison to you know the extra thick cigar band you know you can go as thin as three millimeters and this is what it looked like if you're not somebody who wants you know to really feel their wedding band maybe going for a very thin option like three millimeters is better obviously when it's three millimeters you can't have like very crazy designs you can't have a whole lot on it because there's not enough room if you're going this route or anybody who's going the route of a simpler band give it a beveled edge having that angle on the sides it just makes such a nice finish in comparison to just like plain right it's going to look more refined also on this note if you look at Denzel Washington's wedding bands he actually has two very thin wedding bands stacked on top of each other and it looks so 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 good I think a lot of the times men don't think about stacking but like why not if you put let's say a very thin 18 karat yellow next to like a platinum band it looks so good it looks really good so anyways consider it maybe it's a little too fashion forward but yeah next we have engraving I do a lot of florals for like women's wedding bands but like men you guys can basically put any type of engravings that you want like you could send me any drawing any anything whatever 
and we can actually superimpose it into the wedding band basically blackened with black rhodium in the band to give that contrast which is what you're seeing so again this client wanted like mountains and the moon it can be anything if you want like i don't know celtic patterns or don't do tribal please don't send me tribal requests because it's not gonna <laughs> no but yeah we can basically make any pattern so yeah this is like a really cool option next we have the lord of the rings we have a very domed band. I literally get requests for the Lord of the Ring rings because that's the actual aesthetic of it. It's just very domed. Simple. Again, you can have it matte or high polished, whatever, but it gives maybe a little bit more of a luxurious feel and having more mass than just simple. Next, we have black enamel. So because sometimes people want to use black rhodium and I see this a lot in men's jewelry. I think like Bulgari does it a lot. They'll have black rhodium on the exterior of the surface of the ring. This is actually a faux pas. I would never recommend doing that. And the reason why is that black Black rhodium is always supposed to be below the surface because if it's a, like on the superficial layer, it's going to wear off so quickly that you're always going to have to have it re-rhodium plated and it's very expensive. You're going to waste so much time having to have it redone constantly. I would say if you had a ring black rhodium plated, I guarantee you within six months, you're probably going to have to have it redone. It's going to look very bad very quickly. That's why black enamel is actually, you know, a better alternative because that black enamel that you're seeing right now, it's not going to wear off. Like it's extremely, extremely durable. It's like if you scratch it, you know, it's hard to do first of all to scratch, but you can also just like repolish it very easily and it's not really going to cost anything. So that's why if you want, you know, rings that have very large surface areas of black, I would go this route over rhodium plating. Next, I have just a selection of very cool rings. The ones that I started off with are a little bit more modest, but I want to show you guys some styles and designs that are made for men and that are a little bit more glamorous because you guys don't need to be modest. Like, I think a lot of men have the tendency to go more the modest route, but like, you don't need to. Like, check out this like wedding band that we made with like, I don't know how many carrots of yellow sapphire <laughs> we put in it, but it was completely decked out and it looks so good and it looks so luxurious. I've also made a lot of rings with, you know, bigger center stones, like emerald is very popular for men's jewelry so if you're looking for you know a center stone like a, a dark blue sapphire looks great emerald looks very masculine and we can always put like texture patterns on the side i've also made like crazy cool like honeycomb patterns so these are all like more extravagant but it's just to show that like we don't always have to go the simple route lastly i just want to touch on things that like we should walk away from all too often when men go to jewelry stores like those classic jewelry stores in the mall they will pull out the catalog do not shop from the catalog all of these designs are the designs that are made by machine cut so they're basically like really thin bands with like all these different like cuts you always see like the versace or Givenchy patterns on them but it's really a very specific style where it's not done by hand it's really cut into the metal to give you know appearance of texture to give like patterns into the metal i'm just going to show you the examples of what i mean those are really dated they have a very dated appearance they're often mixed with two-toned i would always say stay away from two-toned because you're going to see it in women's jewelry more often but it's a style of jewelry that always comes in and out of fashion and so for men i'm sorry you guys are not changing your wedding bands very often you know women you know every 10 years they kind of maybe want to think about redesigning it you guys are not like you're wearing your wedding bands for a long time and so when you get something that's like very dated like two-tone jewelry i just feel like you're gonna get sick of it or it's gonna look dated and not very nice so yeah that's my recommendations <laughs> but um it sounds harsh but trust me trust me it's gonna be dated really quickly so stay away from it if ever you guys have any questions or comments or need help looking for like a wedding band designing you can always just send me a dm my my email links are down below. I specialize in custom, so I'm more than happy to help. And uh, yeah, my name is Dominic Flex. Thanks for watching and bye.